Good afternoon, class. My name is Taylor Nichols, and while I know you're used to having Professor Seegers teach you new math information, today I will be taking on that role. We're going to be talking about different Fibonacci sequences that occur in nature. So there's so many different examples of this that I had no idea about until I actually took the time to stop and research. We take a lot of our world for granted and never think to actually stop and look and count things, but Fibonacci sequences are everywhere if you'll just take the time to pay attention. First and foremost, we talk about flower petals. So all different species of flowers follow the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. For example, lilies have three petals, whereas buttercup flowers have five petals. This sequence goes on and on for the amount of petals certain flowers have, with chicory flowers having 21 and daisies having 34. This is really interesting to me as I am a huge fan of flowers and I've never stopped to think and count the amount of petals on each of my flowers. So we're gonna go down my list of notes to another example, which includes seed heads. So if we're actually going to look in certain flowers, like sunflowers, for instance, they have clusterings of seeds in the center. And these seed heads are actually done in a spiral pattern that is a Fibonacci sequence. So these seed heads have tons and tons of spirals. The number can get really high, up to 144 or more sometimes. And this is a highly irrational number um, that you, you would need to optimize filling, but phi uh, fits the bill really nicely here, actually. Similarly to these seed heads are pine cones. Pine cones follow the same general spiral sequence, and phi fits the bill really nicely there. Um, so that's really interesting as well. Some other examples include the fruits and vegetables in our own fridge. I would have never thought that these would have anything to do with math, but spiraling patterns on things like pineapples or cauliflower or similar fruits and vegetables also have a Fibonacci number sequence to them. Tree branches as well, you have one main stem, one main root of the tree, and then you have tree branches that branch off. They go more and more, so you've got one big tree root, and then you have two branches off of that, three branches off of that, five, eight, 13, and so on. That's also an example of a Fibonacci sequence. Um, additionally, things like seashells. We never think about that, but nautilus shells, snail shells, all of those, they follow this logarithmic log spiral of a sense, um, similarly to how our inner ear, the conchula in our inner ear, it follows that same spiral sequence. Uh, talking more about spirals, spiral galaxies. So the thing that we live in, the thing that makes up our entire knowledge of the universe and our world is part of a galaxy that's in the shape of a spiral. You think about the Milky Way, it's in a spiral. It follows this familiar Fibonacci pattern. Um, the spirals tend to be about 12 degrees and then they rotate and rotate on. So there's tons more examples that I haven't even touched on. Things like human faces, hurricanes and cyclones, uh, fingers, uh, different animals and their bodies. So there are just tons and tons of examples out in our universe of Fibonacci numbers and Fibonacci sequences at work. So I really enjoyed learning more about this. It brought a lot of knowledge to me and to this unit. And I feel like I'm just going to appreciate a lot more about our world in general. Now that I know that things like this occur naturally in nature, it's it's very interesting to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Sorry I was talking so fast. I had to cut this down to fit in just a couple minutes, but I hope you enjoyed learning because I know I certainly did. See you next time. Bye-bye.